Welcome to the Afterspin. Opinions from thought leaders in our state. John Hood, Jenna Robinson, uh, Robinson from the John Locke Foundation, wrote a column recently talking about changing requirements for admission to UNC universities. She says over the past few years, UNC has been increasing and making stronger requirements for college entrance, but the state's just changed one of the big variables by making big changes in the grading scale in schools, whereas an A used to be from 93 to 100, uh, uh, the new requirements lower the grading scale from 90 to 100. What impact is that going to have on our universities and our students? Well, it could have a significant impact on admissions. Jenna actually works for the Pope Center for Higher Education Policy, but she was writing an article that appeared in different places. Her observation was the state had set a target, a GPA, a minimum target for the UNC system. And that GPA was based upon the previous scale. So if you go from a 93 to 100 type scale, 7 point scale to a 10 point scale, then you're effectively, if, you, if nothing else changes, then GPAs will get a little bit better and it might artificially put some kids over the line getting into a UNC school they would not previously have gotten in and may not do as well. Now, this is not necessarily an argument against changing the scale. It's an argument against taking into consideration all the other things that are based upon GPAs, like college admissions. So if you're going to change the scale, you might need to look at changing well, the sure GPA requirement. we're sure to see GPA creep uh, up, that, right? Almost certainly, because yeah. you're going to get some Bs instead of uh, Cs and As instead of Bs and so forth. But I think that the, the university system can respond to this. They can react to it. They need to pay attention to it closely. Thank you for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.